Hey everyone, um, as most of you know, or at least the uh, organ lovers out there and Hammond B3 enthusiasts and freaks and whatever, uh, you've probably heard that Dr. Lonnie Smith has passed away last week. Um, that's such a tragic loss to the world, but also to the Hammond organ world that I've been living in most of my life. Um, the first time I've I've heard Dr. Larney Smith uh, play was on an uh, on a George Benson album called The Cookbook. I I, I really love that album. I still listen to it uh, lots of times and still one of my favorites. Um, and actually, I've met him years and years later after he recorded uh, an album with some of my friends of the Jazz Invaders. It's a du Dutch group. And they recorded an album with Dr. Lonnie Smith. If you haven't heard it, check it out. Um, well, one of his songs I really like, and I've listened to it quite a few times. I had never played it until I saw this tutorial video by Will Blades, a great musician, a great organ player. I saw this tutorial on his uh, Instagram channel, and I decided to do this song with my students uh, as a result, I decided to record this video, uh, put it on YouTube because it's not there. And I figured some of you may like uh, this song. And it's not too hard, although rhythmically it's kind of complicated at first, but you'll get it. So uh, I'll play the song for you once so you have an idea. If you, if you didn't know it yet, then you will. Uh, and then I'll dissect the parts and... See if I can explain so you can play it yourself. So, uh, this is how it goes. <laughs> There's a couple of versions uh, out there. One of them is with uh, with the band Crash, um, and and uh, it's it's a live version and it's so funky. But I'll start with the basics of the song. It starts with the bass line, I guess. I'll, I'll put on a metronome just to give you an idea where the bass line is, or where the beat is. So here we go: two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Mm. I play a lot of ghost notes. They're based on the groove that I have in my head. But you can still play it without ghost notes, like this. That's basically the bass part. The part uh, that comes after that is, I guess, the intro. <laughs> uh, it combines the bass part with a chord. It's the F7 sharp 9 chord in two voicings. So the first voicing is a wide voicing, a typical organ voicing. You have to have big hands to do that. I don't have such big hands, but I can... Well, I can barely play this chord, but I can. It's, it's an uh, F7 sharp 9 with an A... <coughs> An e, sh uh, an e flat, an A flat, and a C. So if I want to slam down this chord, I can't do it because I always hit some other note. Usually now I put my thumb on the A and the B to get that sharp 11, and I and then I at least I can play it and slam it down like that. But technically, it should be just A, E flat, A flat, and C. So like this. One, two, the second chord 
it's the same F7 sharp 9, but without that high C, so it's easier. So that's that's basically the intro. The melody, and I'll play it without the bass part first, goes like this. Uh, one, two, three, four. Do 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 that's basically an F minor pentatonic scale, but what I always do when I play the F minor pentatonic scale, unless I'm in F minor, but in an F blues, I slide that minor third to a third to get that bluesy touch of I've always wanted to be a guitar player, I guess, and, and I try to bend notes, which is impossible, so I slide from that minor third to that third to get that bluesy touch. Um, the chord progression is, um, well, to me, it's still, it's a blues progression. It's a 12-bar blues progression. Uh, the only thing that doesn't happen, it doesn't go to the four. It doesn't go to B flat seven in bar five. So it stays in F for eight bars. But after that, it goes to C7, then oh, for one bar, and then one bar of B flat seven, and then back to F7. So um, I'll, t I'll, I'll play the whole melody with the bass part and the chords um, uh, so you have an idea. I try to play the chords in between on the lower manual. It's still that F7 sharp nine. So here you go. One, two, three, four. Do -do 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 Stay in F. So the melody in the break goes like this. Sometimes I play it like that. This is my tutorial about Play It Back by Lonnie Smith. I took most of what I'm playing here from the Will Blades tutorial on Instagram. So find him and follow him because he has more great short tutorials giving you lots of information about drawbar settings, about what to play in certain songs. Uh, I'll be continuing tutorials on my channel as well. So if you like uh, what you've seen here, what you've heard, please subscribe and hit the bell button and wait for my next video. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>